All right, in this example, we're going to let x be the random variable of the number of broken eggs in a dozen. So the grocery supplier believes that in a dozen eggs, the mean number of broken eggs is 0 0.6, with a standard deviation of 0 0.5 eggs. I'm going to buy three dozen eggs without checking them. So this gets the idea. So now, is this, does this mean I'm going to have x plus x plus x for my random variable, or is it 3x? Or actually, does it matter? Uh, you should pause the video now and think about this. Make a choice, because this is a really important idea. Hopefully, you chose this one here, because this is picking three different ones, three different dozen egg cartons. And so, if I was going to do 3x, it would be like <clears throat> I buy my three dozen eggs, and then each one costs $3. So that would be multiplying all of these values by 3 whereas this is adding them together. They are not the same. It's such an important idea that you recognize that x plus x plus x does not equal 3x when we're dealing with random variables. Okay, so how many broken eggs do we expect to get? Well, if we take our expected value of x plus x plus x, well, using our algebra and going into the details, I know that's the same as going to expected value of x plus the expected value of x plus the expected value of x, which is three expected values. I'm going through lots of detail here. And so it'll be 3 times 0 0.6. So I should expect that there's to be 1.8 broken eggs in my three dozen that I buy. What's the variance? Well, when I do my variance of x plus x plus x, well, that's going to be the variance of x plus the variance of x plus the variance of x. And I always add my variances. And again, I'm going through large detail here. Eventually, I just go straight to here. If I check I know the standard deviation is 0 0.5, so the variance then is going to be 0 0.5 squared. So uh, that'll be 0 0.75, I believe, is my variance of the three. Now, it has a little bit of an extra question here. It says, what's the assumption? Well, this statement here is true only if each dozen is independent. And my question to you is, would you consider these to be independent? And you should stop and think about that for a moment before you listen to my response. And my answer to that is, I would definitely say they are not independent. Because if you go to a grocery store and you go to buy a dozen, dozen and you buy three dozen without checking them, you're typically going to go to your grocery store and just grab three that are right there. These are very dependent. So imagine if someone knocked into the, knocked into the thing of eggs. They're all going to be related. The shipping of these three that are together, there's going to be some kind of relationship between them. So I would say they're definitely not independent. And though most of the, most of the computations that we do in this unit, we assume independence but it's an assumption that's not always true, even though we do assume it.